It is the 22nd of November 2017, and that can mean only one thing. It is time for episode 34 of Boruto, the night of the shooting stars. It's time to go fishing? Really? Oh, okay. And man, talk about a back-end heavy episode. Is that the right term? I don't know. Basically, what I'm saying is an episode that, for the most part, doesn't really go anywhere or do anything, and then all of a sudden, at the end, everything happens, and it's really cool. Well, kind of cool. So, as I mentioned, the first, like, 15 minutes of this episode are literally Boruto being sad and then going fishing for the eternal car. You know, there, there, are, there are one or two little funny bits, uh, like Chocho's top-tier grin there. But, for the most part, it was kind of a dull episode, honestly, and I wouldn't be surprised if a lot of people skipped this episode. This does feel like absolute prime filler content. However, for those of you who did stick around, I've got to say that I did kind of enjoy this episode near the end. I'm not really sure where they were going with the whole Sarada thing, because it seemed to be like plot was kind of following Sarada, but nothing really came of it. She just hung out with Boruto and fished a bit, I guess. And maybe that's the point. Maybe the point was that, you know, nothing grand's going to happen, but you got to spend time with people who in future will be your friends. I guess that was kind of the theme of the episode. But honestly, the highlight of the episode for me was... As I said, near the end, where they actually did catch the cop. Because uh, first up, we got to see little baby New again, or New Way. And honestly, it's really cool because I guess it kind of implies that class rep's power is going to be summoning Jutsu to summon New Way and use its power to, you know, do good or whatever it is she wanted to do. Because she did mention the whole, oh, I was given this power for evil, but now I'm going to turn it to good, which is lovely. And of course, New Way is really adorable in his little chibi form. And I know maybe it's a bit of a cheap cop out, but the whole part where they all teamed up to catch the carp and they all used their power and stuff was really exciting, I thought. It was a nice way of kind of showing off this core group of friends and what they could do and how they work together and stuff. And I think part of the reason was to kind of build the relationship between all these people because these are clearly going to be the main characters of Boruto for the next like 50 to 100 episodes probably. So it's kind of a simple way of establishing who exactly are going to be the main guys to look out for, who are going to be the main focuses of episodes to come. And I've got to say that this ending shot here, well, it's kind of an ending shot, I, I count it as an ending shot, was legit pretty darn cool. And it kind of felt to me like it was the end of the intro arc, if that makes sense. It's kind of the series way of going, look, okay, you know, we've been through 44 episodes with these characters now, they've grown attached to each other, they get to know who they are. So, you know, they've all become friends, and this is kind of the way of saying, right, let's move forward with that. We've established they're all friends now, let's get going. And hopefully it does get going, because the last two episodes have felt a little bit light on content. A man, top off the back head of the episode. This shot of, uh, Moon Guy, I can't remember his name. He's from Naruto the Last, I know. Man, the shot of him looking down at the earth from the moon in his glass prism thing was really cool. And I assume hinting at, you know, maybe that's going to be the theme of the next arc? Or, well, maybe the one after it, because obviously the next are going to be the tune-in exams, probably. Or graduation, at the very least. And talking about graduation, it is time to discuss NEXT TIME! Where there's a parent-teacher conference, I guess? It's going to be more build-up to the graduation, basically. I think this is going to be the pre-graduation episode, and then graduation is going to be the next one. If I am to make an assumption. So, for those of you avoiding filler episodes and stuff, I probably wouldn't stick around for next week's. Oh hey, who knows, I don't know, they they could genuinely back-end it with something. That guy from the moon could actually, you know, show up right at the end of that episode. Maybe the graduation will actually, you know, have that guy show up or something? Kind of like the destruction of the leaf village by the sand village. But who knows, I don't know, I'm just spitballing here. And that about wraps it up for my review of episode 34 of Boruto. As always, if you have enjoyed this and would like to see more in the future, then maybe consider subscribing. And if you did enjoy this review in particular, then, you know, maybe consider giving it a thumbs up. Or a thumbs down if you didn't like it. And as always, if you have anything to add in the comment section, do feel free to let me know as I like reading them and replying to them. And until next time, goodbye. <laughs>